interruption in that scripture. Hallelujah. Are you there? Let somebody read. He has put a new song in my mouth. He will press unto our God. When he shall see it and be glad. And shall trust in the Lord. God put a new song. And so the guy was just worshiping him. Based on the fact that God has just removed him from the married clay, everything was going on. But look at verse 6 and 7. Philo Shelebe. Philo There's a prophetic interruption there. He was singing. He was singing about himself, about his life, about but something, a prophetic interruption came up. Verse 6. Okay. My ideas have you opened. I said, no, I come. In the scroll of the book, it is written of me. I delight to do your will, oh my God. And your law is within my heart. Continue, man. Yes. Amen. Now, who is, who, 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 who is he talking to here? That was why Jesus, when he came, hmm, he mentioned this scripture by himself. Abi? Because David, as he was singing and praising God, there was a prophetic interruption. And he entered into the future because he was not talking primarily about himself. He was talking about the Messiah. When you begin to sing, <laughs> oh, there will be prophetic interventions, interruptions. Let me give you another example. Maybe you say, ah, that one is obscure. Maybe I like it. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah, where is Isaiah? Isaiah, you. Isaiah chapter 30. What did the Bible say there? Verse 29. Say, in the day when you have a song, may, may the Lord always put song in your mouth. In the day when you shall have a song, as in the night, when it when like a holy cell, cell, a solemnity, as if you are having convention. When a holy solemnity is kept and gladness of heart, as when one goes with a pipe to come into the mountain of the Lord, to the mighty one of Israel, to buy, to buy lonely land, and the Lord shall cause what Kilimashele? His glorious voice to be heard. <laughs> I shall show the lightning down of, of his arm with the indignation of his anger and with the flame of a devouring fire with scattering tempest hailstorm but through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrian be beaten down with down which smote with rod now what, what is he talking about here you have a song be sure that very very soon there's going to be a prophetic interruption God will either speak to you or speak about you or speak about the nation or speak about your husband or speak about your wife or speak about the situation in your, in your house, in your, in your school, in the place you are working. He will give you snippets into the future. If you sing a song in, 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 and you, what I'm talking about is the process of receiving new songs. You sing by faith. In the Muslim, you open your mouth and God fills it. That's the kind of song we are talking about. Not the one that you go and carry. You can start from there. You can start from eh, who worship the King, all glorious. And all of a sudden, in the middle of doing that one, you are worshiping God with that, with that hymn. You start putting your own words. You start putting your own words. And as you continue, if you are so dedicated enough, 
there will be prophetic interventions interruptions that will give you prophetic insight amen now let me tell you my secret that's my secret anytime I am angry disillusioned troubled that I need money and I need a lot of things all I just do go is to go into my ear and begin to sing and begin to worship God and begin to give him praise and begin to say Lord and you let do and you let do and you let do let you buy go go Hey, let to baba. I don't to be. Even real to. Even you, this situation and circumstances, no one can give you. Hey, hey, to let it go. Hey, let to. Ah, holy wa, holy wa. If you know man, you pay low or I like start from the known to unknown. In the midst of it, a new song will come. And I will begin to sing. And as I will begin to sing and sing and sing and sing and sing, there will be a prophetic interruption. A sniper into the future. God will give you divine possibilities of what could happen if I take this starting step. Praise the Lord. That's, that's how some of us start multi-million naira projects for church with 50,000 naira but in the place of prayer I've already received it I've worship and God said this there's a divine possibility we have lots of more go and tell the people that this is what I want done and I go and tell them, and things begin to happen. Very, very simple. Because I have received snippets of the future from the divine presence of, for example, when it was very, very important, I can't forget, it was going to my, my, uh, my, my birthday that particular year. A week to my birthday, I usually go on the, this kind of retreat. It's not a retreat of, of shouting and praying. Just, Lord Jesus, I just worship you. I want to be where you are. I just want to do what you want me to do. My heart is for you. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I may be with my guitar. I may be me on the keyboard. I may not be there at all. Most of the time, I'm not there with any of the instruments. As I was just, I'm just, I was there that particular year. And then the prophetic sniper just interrupted me. And I had the word and I, I, I scrambled out to write it down quickly. The beginning is not the point strive to end where here there's a change of season coming strive to end where here is it i didn't understand but i wrote it down strive to end up where resonated. I studied around it. I knew something. There's a prophetic thing, agenda for me. Bas, two months after the crisis it just started. And then the word came. Strive to end well. Strive to end well. I knew what I could have done. When they told me, when they lied against me, bastardized my name, 
and my integrity. I knew what I could have done, but I kept hearing the word. Strive to end well. You are coming out of this ministry, you will end up well. It must be well. Ah, that was pain. I said, I will end well. So, whatever you, you want to teach to me, I accept, sir. So I was transferred to Lagos and then I was demoted. In between, during that time, I was in prophetic singing again. I started singing again. A whole book was given to me. It was, it was as if God deleted the books. The book. Eh? A whole commentary on Proverbs. The book of Proverbs. During that, God just opened my heart. Strive to end with. Then God gave me what to do. Don't resign during this crisis. Go out after everything has been resolved and your names have been cleared. And it is very, very clear that you didn't, you, you didn't want to take the church out from the hand of the general of us here. I had it clear. So I, I came out neat of the prophetic songs. I can tell you stories. Now, there was also a time I was really angry. I said, God, why do you do me like this? After serving you like this? After serving this man of God like this? Why? I need to know why. So I was in prophetic singing again. I was singing, I was worshiping. Even I was, I was weeping, my heart was sad. I've been betrayed. I've been, I've been, I've been used and dumped. I felt, you know, all those normal things. But that is not the, in the presence of God, all those negativity, God will remove it. God removed it. God removed it. Say, when you should God on. Yes, sir. In the midst of singing, I wrote this. I was writing a new song. A new song came. I was writing. God said, only a memo darling you. Give me a Bible passage for what you have just said. He said, Thou shalt not have any other God apart from me. Then I knelt down and I began to weep again. Say, Lord, forgive. I didn't know it had come to that. Lord, help me. I wrote a lot of songs, new song there. That's why my heart, my own heart is very tender. They know me. I, in the midst of it, I can begin to cry. Just speak before the Lord because I don't care whether you see my tears. I am in a supersonic connection with my God. And as I sing, help came from above. And I, another day I was singing, God said, go back to Peter. That was how we went back. I said, God, that is a long journey. He said, I have more than a million naira here in my hand that I can use to start church. And God said, I have not sent you to start church. I have the money. means the next four years I'm going to go to seminary. I'm going to be taught. Sit down. Check it as if you are not doing anything in life. And then he said, when you get to the seminary, don't say a word. When the lecturers are lecturing you, don't open your mouth. It was also a prophetic direction in the place of hearing name song. Now, I'm telling you, why I have to go to this city in what plant now so that I can finish this message. Hallelujah. But what about the message then you praise the Lord though? God releases new song to you within the ambit of the timing of his presence. 
there is a season of change for you right now. I'm speaking to somebody now. I'm writing what I received as I was preparing. There's a season of change. A change in your story right now. He's going to give you your own song. His own song. And in the midst of you singing that one, there will be prophetic interruptions. You are about... There's somebody here. You are about to experience a newness, a change in your story that is coming. There's a coming together of all the parts, all the dealings of God upon your life, which you, you have been asking why, 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 why. You will begin to know and understand why He brought you through the paths you traveled through over these years. You will begin to know it. You will understand it better by and by, by and by. When the morning comes, when the saints are gathered all around, we will tell the story how we overcome. We will understand it better. Some of you have been crying, why? Why? Why are things not coming together? There's a reason. And, eh? and as you sing on your bed in the night, just singing, just, just start from the known to unknown. God will speak to you. Now, let me tell you something. Say, I should tell somebody here. Your voice is being anointed now. I didn't hear somebody. Your voice is being anointed now. Now, let me tell you this about you. Secret about your voice. Whether you know how to sing or not, that's not the issue. Your voice is powerful. Your voice is your number one instrument of praise and warfare. Write it down. Your voice is what? Your number one instrument of praise and warfare. It is a powerful instrument. Eh? When you raise your voice, you bring down glory into that space. Start singing and praising God in this place. Soon, you will hear glory filling this room through your voice. Sometimes, somebody will be singing somewhere there and then I will be getting goosebumps, uh, uh, good pimples here. Why? Because she had just sang one song. When she, they were singing that song, you saw me share, stood up. Ah, they, they have touched the court. They touched the court and I stood up. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm moving forward. I keyed in immediately. I, oh, some of you, you waste, you waste anointing. There's a glory in their voice. There's a glory in your voice. Start singing. The glory of God is on your voice. It fills the room. Because when you sing and your ears hear your, what you are saying from your voice, it touches your emotions. Jungle. It unbundles the emotions of others. Three, it unbundles suppressed feelings. It tear up dormant and buried feelings. Your voice in singing can bring you into deliverance. It will bring you into deliverances. Amen. As just like we read in that Psalm that three, she to send, don't forget, it will compass you about with songs of deliverance. As you sing, as you sing, God compresses you about. That means God surrounds you with his own song from heaven. And a sniper will be brought to you in creative inspiration. Hallelujah. That was what happened to with Saul, Paul and Silas. They sang their way into their deliverance. They sang and the Bible says, and the prisoners heard them. Is it not so? You when you obey God and sing a new song, strength comes. Joy is released. Nehemiah 4 8. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Psalm 8 verse 2 says, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings have thou ordained strength to punish your enemies and to arrest the enemies and the avenger. Number three, when you obey God and sing a new song by faith, <laughs> barrenness is displayed. 
Barrenness is what? It's dispersed. It's dispelled in the name of Jesus. Who is going to sing a new song? Look at Isaiah chapter 4, 54. Isaiah chapter 54. Let me show you something. The Bible says that God gave a prophetic instruction to the children of Israel. What did they say? He says to them, they sing. If somebody is bad, is that is that the correct uh, prescription? Won't you tell him that to go to to Lutz or to go to Lasut, to go to doctor? Let them check everything, whether it's fatal or not fatal. Whether there's one problem or and then you take all the pills. But the Bible prescription for barrenness is sin. Say, sing, O barren. Thou that have not bear born children, break forth into singing and cry aloud. <laughs> now, singing and breaking forth into singing, they are two different things. Singing and breaking forth into singing. There are two different things. When you pray for it to sing, it means that you, you sing as if your life depends on it. You put your feelings into what you are singing. He said, see to it. Because as you sing and cry aloud, you that have not traveled with child, more children will be released into your life. He said, get ready. I'm, tell, I'm talking to some other. Say, get ready. Say, enlarge the place of your tent. Get ready. Oh, yeah. Expand it. Do you have capacity to receive more? Say, enlarge. Enlarge the place of your tent. Enlarge it. You enlarge it by singing. Say, Lord, I want more. I want more of you. I want more of you, Jesus. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus. The more I know you. After this meeting, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. You are breaking forth on the right and on the left in the name of Jesus. Your seed shall inherit the Gentiles. Your, your desolate situation and circumstances and all emptiness is filled with the glory of abundance and, sub, and, 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 and supernatural lifting of grace in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak as a servant of the living God that God has found worthy and faithful. I, according to verse 4, that is open there, he said, fear not. He said, fear not. For you shall not be ashamed. I'm not hearing somebody say amen. Fear not. You shall not be confounded. Say fear not. You shall not be put to shame. <laughs> he said, I will make you forget the poverty, the shame, the sorrow, the, the difficulties of your youth. Ah. Hey. Oh, Tibu Mikbagbe. That is my testimony. Oh,
name of your youth all the places where you have been disgraced you will not remember anymore you will not remember all the difficulties of the past anymore in the name of Jesus because God is giving you a new song he is giving you a new song he said you should sing he said you should sing can you lift up your voice and begin to sing hey. start from the north to the unknown start from the unknown from the north to the unknown Covenant with him because your new song has come. Let me my joe. Thank you. 
mamá. Mamá, come, come. Eh, come aquí, vos, vos, vos.
God is giving you a new song, a new experience from today on. You are entering into a newness of life. Hallelujah. That is it. Elewi, Eleshe, Elewi, Eleshe, Elewi, Eleshe. 